gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, the 2023 light heavyweight champion of the Celsius post-fight interview. That belt looks good around your waist. That check looks good in your hands, my friend. What an impressive performance that was. I expected this to be the most competitive fight on the card, and it was a complete shutout. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, man, I'm feeling grateful. I want them Uh God is great. I don't know anybody know in here, man. Like, you could be in your car one day, you could be a world champion the next. That's in anything you do. A lot of people are here, man. You don't know the story or their situation that they're going through, but I want you to know you're unconditionally loved. You might feel like giving up right now, but don't. Just one more day. Promise yourself that. You'll be a champion in your own life. Now, I do want to know more about the performance, but you slipped that in right there. You just said, I want Nemkov. Tell me why. Man, I want Nemkov. He's one of the best in the world. Why would you be in this if you don't want to be the best, if you're not here to be the best? I came here to dominate. I want Nemkov and I want Francis Ngannou. I want all the best. I'm not playing around. I'm here to be the best to ever do it, past, present, and future. I thank God the UFC cut me. I'm here to be in PFL and dominate. Give me 12 to 15 years. Give me a great contract. Let me take care of my family. I want everybody next. I'll fight tomorrow. I'll fight Sunday. I don't care. And man, let's get after it. Shout out to everybody at Kill Cliff, DK Fitness. Hey, man, T and Juan, bro. Keep working, man. I had 16-year-old kids helping me get ready for this fight. It doesn't matter who you are. Get out here. Get after it. I'm here to be the best to ever do it, and I don't play about that. After everything you've achieved this year, you're standing here with the belt, with the check, and you're still calling people out. You're still chasing the top. What drives you, my friend? I'm on a war path. I want to honor God and do my job. I want people to see, like, when you represent God, it doesn't matter if you're perfect or not, because I'm not a perfect person, man. I fell short many times. But when you get an opportunity to be here and do great work, you can be a strong man and still dominate, and you can still be a loving man. And that's what I want to show. So I'm on a path. I don't care if I'm tired. I don't care if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm hurt, injured. I just know I'm going to show up and do honor God and do my job. I want to represent my family, the Kasunganai name, represent these guys back here. Coach Lenz told me, he said, it'd be a shame if you become a world champion. Coach Jones welcomed me to the gym. Henry could pull me out of the car. Coach Dieter and I, we work every single day. I got my dog, Jason Jackson, right here, head welterweight champion. He beats me up on Sundays. That's my dog. <laughs> we got to get another round in. But I love this guy. And, man, I'm like, I'm here to be the best, man. PFO just gave me an opportunity. I got a lot of people here that love me. I really want to say something, though, like, Shout out to Josh Silvera, shout out to Conan, shout out to his family. My dad's right here and it's an opportunity. I met Josh on a plane to Abu Dhabi. I got knocked up in front of the whole world and they were still super respectful. We talked the whole way there and way back. I got a lot of respect for him. So like he and his dad right now, don't get your head down to do something special with your father. A lot of kids in here don't even have their dad in their life. So take that moment and love one another, all right? You're a special individual, my friend. You're inspiring and you're on an incredible journey. And I know that this journey is not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the light heavyweight champion, Ipika Saganine! <laughs>